I just want to no. say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> To our channel. If you're new, we are the four lady girls of Wynish. Balisa, Baxi, Obageng, Kumelo, and Wushe. And we are doing a little review, a little wine focused review. Thank you so much for everyone who is loyal to us. And for those of you who are new here, we hope you like it and please stay and subscribe. And also, for everyone who's watching this, don't forget to like and comment. And obviously, I mean, I've said subscribe, but I, I mean, subscribe. subscribe. Share with your granny, share with your friends, <laughs> everybody. Share with your mama. <laughs> Love. Introducing um, Bruce Jack Wines, guys. So, we have a very hectic lineup right here. Like, we have six wines. Um, and we are going to take you through. Um, Bruce Jack, a little bit about who they are, what they do, the wines that they have, the little wine up that we have going on here. So we are, yeah, we we keen. It's our first time, one yeah. of us, um, having a Bruce Jack wine. So we're keen to, you know, see what's up and have a taste and recommend to you guys. Yeah, let's go. We gotta Please. go. You just um, see our also, something to note: this is the lifestyle range um, from Bruce Jack. They have, I think, like three, four other ranges. Yeah, um, a lot of wines. Yeah, yeah, they have got a bit of wine, but this is the lifestyle range, so. Yeah. And where do you find Bruce Jack? Because I think I've seen it only in Norman Goodfellows. Yeah, I'm I'm not, I've never seen a Bruce, Bruce Jack, Jack ever. wines on shelves. Um, so I think, yeah, maybe your specialist stores. So, yeah, so Julia Cullinan, I think it means something if a brand is at Julia Cullinan. Um, but also, the only other place that we've seen them is at Norman Goodfellows. So if you're looking to get one of these bottles, or six, um, after this <laughs> video, then head on over to Norman Goodfellows. I just also, said, they can ask us. That's all. I'll let you know. <laughs> One thing about Bruce Jack wines is that everyone speaks about them like internationally. So the UK crowd is always like posting them and going on about them. So I think that's saying something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Could be the label as well. That it thing is screaming. Yeah. 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 With the Bruce Jack lifestyle range, Sauvignon Blanc 2020. Thoughts? Oh, so it's a 2020. It's a big young. It's a right here. Really? But I find solve lovers love a young, a young solve. solve yeah. So if you are a solve lover, you should drink this. Bruce Jack lifestyle range is also affordable. So yeah, when you hop onto your or get when you go to your Norman Goodfellows or order online, you know that you're getting value for money, Chile. That's a lot better than what I was anticipating, mm. actually. And it's it's your honey for me. Yeah. I'm actually getting that kind of honey as well. I'm getting but honey from the nose. Yeah, from the nose for sure, but I don't think palette wise, I'm that's getting, not what I'm getting. I'm getting some, I think it actually is honey for me. Um, At the end, that's the linger. That's the last thing I taste. It's you know where your palate is, your soft palate actually. Um, that's where I start to feel like grass, green, green pepper, da, Sauvignon Blanc, drrr, harshness, whatever. But as Melissa was saying, the end, um, the finish, again, I get honey. So it's not like the kind of acidity for me that mm. is drrr, mm -hmm. at the end, because I feel like that honey coating is happening to finish it off. Yeah. Which is nice I, and unexpected for 2020. I must say the 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 lingering sort of finish is really just really taking this wine far for me. Not my favorite, um, but honestly, if you're a soft lover, like Kim was saying, I think this might just tick your boxes. Mm. And the ending is quite 
lovely, actually. Yeah, I, I don't generally like salt. No, so don't this is, like it. No. This is not too much fun for me. I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Um, I think it's not cold enough for me. Um, mm. I think the issue is the mm. temperature. Whoa. It's not Sorry. crisp enough. It's not that what? typical. I can't agree with you. It's not that typical what? soft thing, and I think it needs to be, or at least because of the the flavor profile, it needs to be a really cold soft to drink. I We're not going to use God that it's not soft. Yeah. It's giving me hot like a heater in a sense that when I sip, nice taste or whatever, but I feel the, the oh, thing in here. Okay. I feel this thing, and I I've sure. never had um. Sorry. What do you call heartburn? I've never had heartburn, but I feel like that's buzz. Um, okay, so rating. I am giving this. I mean, no hate, no shade, none's wrong, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think I'm giving this four glasses. Yeah. <laughs> out of ten. Five glasses out of ten from me. Okay. Same, five glasses out of ten. Do you know what? As the certified Sauvignon Blanc drinker of these four lady gals, <laughs> um, I think I can give it a six glasses. Okay. Out of ten. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, um, we are on to wine number two. And y'all see we got some colour in our glasses. This is the Sauvignon Blush, is what it's called. It is a blend of the Sauvignon Blanc and Shiraz. Um, a bit different. That is me. very interesting yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, uh, also, 2020 vintage. Yeah, 2020. Ooh. I don't find it interesting at all. Um, I think it tastes like a solve. Yeah. It really does. That's why I would have liked to know. It would have been in, it would have been interesting to know the on the bottle mm. the percentage of Sauvignon Blanc to Shiraz. So it yeah, I mean it tastes like a Sauvignon Blanc, but it obviously has this very blush um, different color mm. to a Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. Um, so I think what I'm struggling to pick up is the Shiraz. Shiraz. Like where you at? And not Shiraz. I mean, Shiraz can hold its own. Yeah, so that's down, 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 yeah. down. Yeah. 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 So there's no spice. There's no. There's no heavy body mm. in it. It's pretty much tasting a lot like. The song oh, yeah. last. To me, this sounded more exciting than it is, and then that upsets me because I was actually quite curious about a sort of Shiraz, yeah. but there's no curiosity here it mm. tastes like a soul yeah That's but nice once again sweater. for aesthetics cha if you are out and you love some your blog and you just feel like oh my god it's not a for aesthetics day. i'm so sorry <laughs> cool name yeah. from a copywriting perspective very absolutely absolutely absolutely, blush. Blush. absolutely. Mm. i think they were actually quite honest by calling it a sauvignon blush and not a sauvignon rosé I think we mm. are the good by, by trying mm. to make mm. it a rosé. They didn't say it was a rosé. Mm. It's like a tinge of Thanks for that. Yeah. Just so y'all just come back a little bit. It's giving... Yeah. Is it a, bl is it a blush? <laughs> or is it a rosé? Love that, Ed. <laughs> I'm giving this a four glasses out of ten glasses. Um, I want to give it a five and a half. That's out of ten, and a half. generous. Um, I like the wine in the first one, okay. so I have to I'm be sure. fair. Um, yeah, the first one was hurting me, was like physically. So yeah, five and a half from me. Um, I'm staying with my four glasses. I'm getting similar energy. I don't have feelings, which is not okay. So. Um, I'm gonna give this a five. Just because I, mm, I don't know how to say this mm -hmm. nicely, but I don't like lies. So <laughs> nobody lied to you. You created the lie yourself. I well, you as we just I spoke about. We, we did discuss this or whatever, but I just you're lying to me. <laughs> what I'm seeing is not what I'm tasting. So I'm giving you a five just based off that alone. Cool. 
We are moving on to the reds. We are now on to the Bruce Jack Shiraz. It's a 2019 vintage. Um, finally leaving 2020. Mm. Um, it needs to be said. It needs to be left. We can't. Mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, so let's get into this. Let's get into it. Let's and also see. like 2020 is like, it's a fighting year. In if general. you bring out a, a wine in 2020. Take us back to the good time. It's KV, hey? It's giving KV. Yeah, it's, it's very trigger warning. It's TW. It feels very TW for me. Um, but what I need to say about this wine, and I think what we all are experiencing without even having tasted it properly, is um, this for sure needs a decant, in my opinion. Mm. And it also needs, like, after decanting, it needs, like, a two hour sit. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's tight. It's, it's just it's really, really sorry, dark berry. Yeah, it's very blue. It's very, it's, it's very stereotype. It's blue. It's what? what? It's stereotype, but not stereotype in the sense that it's not like spicy Shiraz, but it's like mm. stereotype. Like it's got the blue color. Mm. It's you know berry, mm. which is for me like it's easy to drink. I don't struggle with that. Um, I'm actually quite okay with this. Yeah, sure. but it's it doesn't have dimension, mm. so it doesn't have the spice, it doesn't have the layer mm. of flavor. Yeah. It's not in my nose as I drink mm. it. You know, you get me. Even on the nose, I'm struggling to. Catch and look much. at the like if you look at the glass and the rim around it, mm. it's like it's quite young. Yeah, you yeah. Look yeah at the the color. Yeah. Mm. I think so what I'm. Viscosity. Viscosity. Um. I think what I'm struggling with is. Um, I like for the nose to assist the taste, generally on my mouth, and here it's, I, I feel as though I don't know what this wine tastes like because the nose is so overpowering, and oh, the okay. nose is t telling me what I need to mm. taste, um, and I'd like to make up my own mind sometimes. In terms of occasion, um, I think maybe what this does work with is like a midweek meal mm. uh, where you don't want to think too much and it kind of will pair with whatever you're eating. Um, it's not intimidating. For me, it is what it is. But then when you want to decant something, you can taste, but okay, there's a spiciness, but there's a fruitiness, but there's a this and there's that. And there's a, and then you want to like, okay, let me decant because also your vintage tells you that you mm. should decant. Mm. Um, you know, your... The fact that it's a Bordeaux or whatever the mm. case may be tells you that you, you must decant. So you then you then do it. You know what I mean? So mm. that for me is a yeah, decanting see. moment. I'm not saying that you shouldn't decant yeah. in general for whatever the case may be. You should decant your white wines as well. But um, for me, it doesn't give a decant moment. Sure. Yeah. I think what you're saying is <clears throat> making me think of something that's been coming up a lot lately of like simplicity versus complexity and that neither are like the grander thing mm. so I think it will depend on the kind of wine drinker that it's an easy drink it's it's got that little bit of grown-upness to it mm, you know mm, it does what it needs to do and it goes down easily the tannins aren't overwhelming mm. the acidity is not overwhelming mm, mm. imagine it at a braai with people who just want like, brine and it also wine. gives you brine yeah. brine like yeah. um like wanting to just savory i'm sitting on a in a winter afternoon and i want to have a red wine instead of a white wine and at a bride bottle and this just is it couple this of is it nice contribution as well literally okay. two bottles and maybe one as a gift and mm. yeah okay. so rating um i'm giving this a keen six and a half glasses um Thank you for coming. <laughs> six glasses from me, solid six, I think. Yeah. Five of these. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving it a five glasses as well. Okay, on to the next one. Uh this, we have. You know what? Glasses. glasses. We have the Bruce Jack. Pinotage Malbec blend and it what? is a 2020 vintage. So, I mean, to me, I feel as though Bruce Jack is really um, invested in interesting blends. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I mean, Pinotage, we hate it, but 
we but on big journey. Might just be we're on a journey of trying to appreciate like a journey of appreciation for yeah. pinotage it's a pinotage tour but one thing about us, we do love a Marbella oh child. And we love the love and near Pinotage. Absolutely. So I think it's, it's worth mentioning the that Marbella we can. Is a girl. We can. Um, um, it's my first time having a Pinotage Malbec. Uh, never heard of that in my life. I never heard of a... You know how you know about a blend in general? Mm. But you've never had it fine. Mm. Cool. But I've never heard about this or have had it. Mm. Gotcha. So, I am loving this progression. Me too. I'm mm. loving this progression mm. from singles to, mm. you know, duo. duos. Mm. And this I is nice to me. But you're a big tannin person. I and that's am. why you and like your yeah. And that's why you like a cab. Yeah. Um, but not so much everything else. You're right. Like you, and we're you're a big. Um, mm. 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 You're absolutely mm. correct. This is giving tannin. And I like it. Yeah, mm. it's like tannic it. as fuck. Oh. Cool. Um, personally, I'm really enjoying this. Stunning. Easy drink, but you're a enough complexity, literally. Mm. Um, but I love my big. Mm. Um, mm. 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 I really mm. enjoy my big. Mm. Um, guys, peanut touch. Honestly, I never want to talk about it because mm. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know what to tell but you. On a and journey. I, feel, I feel very unpatriotic mm. for feeling this way, mm. but. <laughs> I'll beg you held it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I do think that Pinotage is the leading in this in this, yeah, definitely. In this blend. But I think that as Bugsy has said, that um the reason we're all finding it pleasing to our palates is that there's Malbec um holding it down and helping it along the way on the journey. Um what I don't like about this wine is i think that pinotage and malbec just together the tannins are screaming um and i understand that that's something that you would absolutely love um but for me i don't like that it's like it's you know on impact like mm. literally the <laughs> moment it hits my mouth that's the first thing it's drug. Drug. everything for you is <laughs> so like soft drug. life I can't. yeah <laughs> it's just drug. F. Um, yeah. It's dry, but you can drink it. Yeah, it's literally, absolutely, <laughs> literally. Yeah, that's not a Savannah. That's all it is to me. <laughs> so on my end, I will be giving it sheesh, God. Um, it's yeah, seven glasses. Oh, that's so hard now. I'm giving a seven as well. Seven, seven glasses. I'm gonna give it a seven glasses too. Mm. Gary. Like, Considering this is feeling highlighty, like one. Let's take it to an eight. Mm. Okay, this is the best feeling I've had. Second last, bye bye. Before we move on, uh, we have a, a movable feast right here, which is a red blend, and it is a Shiraz leading blend. Shiraz, Malbec, Tanat. Um, Toriga Nacional and Barbera. Sorry. Um, interesting grapes. Mm. Exactly. It's gonna be the first time. Well, I'm I'm the only out of five, I don't know. So. Little. 2014! One thing about Bruce Chile. Jack, they really are <laughs> elusive. Yeah. And they want you to figure things out and they want you to like mm. investigate this is my vibe this is my vibe this is vibe. i like i like when people you know they say a lot but they don't say much i love things like that mm. this is and nice. um the funny thing is that when we received these wines hashtag a gifted um it came with a little dm that said open the reds i could have a meal with this like it's a nice Spag bowl. Supper red. This like is a... steaky enough in the glass for me. Mm. Mm. I really do want a steak to fight with this. I actually do yeah. want a steak to square steak. up with this. Medium or but medium like, rare? Medium rare, but I want it to, oh, like, I need a huge fat talk piece of oh. the steak to... What are you well done? It's giving a um, no steak. steak. This one. Yeah. It's, it's giving. I'm being What is it called? 
I just want a, a PS called it's movable, movable feast. feast. Movable feast. I just oh. want a PSA for um, a moment where we acknowledge the fact that uh, Bugsy doesn't eat any steak. Well, she's a vegan of any kind. She and also doesn't drink wine. I think that's disgusting. Do you want to resign? <laughs> I mean, like that's cooking. on her, really. I I just want to no. say... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just Bringing laughing. down the squad average. I am not loving this. Mm. <gasps> um, that's so messed up. Yeah. I definitely prefer the Shiraz that we had before. Shouldn't compare, but I just... I don't know. I... Yo, this is <clears throat> far too savory. It's food, actually. Really? It's foody. I don't, I actually don't like it. Sorry. I, for one, want to say I am the complete opposite of pale. I love pale. <laughs> I love a savory red. So for me, I'm always big on this. Well, I, I'd say it's, I mean, the Syrah is not that heavy, but. Mm. Um, a border, I love a good red mm. that you can save an age. Mm. So, taste, um, I wouldn't say it's a full body in my opinion, yeah. but uh, I think it tastes really well. I would say seven glasses. Mm. I think there are aspects of it that I absolutely hate, actually. Um, and there are things about it that I really do love. I love that like, for example, there are five different grapes in this thing and they do come together quite neatly mm. and um, do something. Okay, I'm gonna give this a six glasses. Six glasses from me. My rating is Dash. And ain't nothing from my side. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Press leave. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's my favorite. I'm gonna give it a seven. Damn. Truly, true. We have moved right along to our final. <laughs> right um, along. Right along. To our final wine, it is a bubbly, it's an MCC. It is called the Penelope. Um, it's a 2016. And this MCC, this beautiful Penelope, is dedicated to Bruce Jack's wife, which I think is very romantic. Don't it's know. Yeah, for me. I agree. Just because you don't know what's happening with this bottle, it is for sure giving me a Pinot Noir Rose Fruit. MCC vibe that's going on <coughs> and it has a little bit of you put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up <laughs> let's go it's that coconut tea kind of feeling that I always get with a Pinot Noir rope um, MCC um, and yeah it's it's heavy Quite yeah, and it's heavy. Yeah. yeah, it's really, yeah. really, really heavy. But I, which I don't know is a bad thing. Seven. I'm enjoying Seven. the heaviness after what we've tested. Yeah. So, like, I, I feel like it's a big. I know we big on like bubbly's at a bride. Yes. Yeah. I like the color too. Mm. Um, I don't think, yeah, like. Not Chisa actually. Yama, hey? Not okay. Chisa uh, Yama. To be quite honest, the most. The, I like this. Thing. The most serious thing I've tasted. From the mm. whole thing that we've done mm. done today, done mm. but it reminds me of the Abingdon Rosé MCC, sure. which is oh, one of the best okay. um, sure. rosés I've had, and I think it's more that intensity, seriousness. And the moment I tasted this, it took me to a specific location, mm. and it was the Midlands. So I like that experience, memory that memory yeah. feeling. So maybe it's personal, actually, mm. but that's where it took me. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just like the, I love the color, I'm kind of mesmerized, um, very sunset feel for me, and um, just brow vibes, mm. I think I say brow vibes a lot, <laughs> but yeah, um, but just, what a for <laughs> yeah, I like, the day. you know, also like bright in a lady category, bright heights, why, when I like bright, I go East NK, because I'm going to go to the bright, and then when I like bright, I'm going to go to the bright, and then I'm going to go to the bright, and then I'm going to go to the bright, 
Na kijua ka bright sale he get a bra in case you guys are wondering just so we can Uh uh Come on any process Literally sound like the process And you say I can't tell you that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for it. I'm going to say 7.5. Thanks. How many? Should I just say 7.5? Glasses. And can I just want to say, I just want to say it's glasses, D L A Z E S, not glasses as in you guys. Okay. okay. You, you gave it 7 glasses, don't you? I gave it some dozen. <laughs> and and do you have any classes? 7.5? 7.5 classes? Um, me. I could even do an 8. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I could do an 8. So, yeah. Exactly. It's an 8 for me, mm -hmm. and it's both the wine and also the memory, which is equally important. So, um, I feel good about this wine. But, guys, very seedy. Seedy, seedy, seedy. Well, it's um, 2016, so maybe it's fair. There's nothing in my I want to give it, I wanted to give it an 8, but I'm going to give it a 7 because I feel like the bubbles have died out way too fast. So, Whoa. based on that alone, it's not going to work for you in a bright tree. It's not going to work for me in a breeze. So, <laughs> I am giving it a 7 based on that, but still really good. We are at the end of our. Um, Tasting slash review slash blind what dot slash yonkinto slash chit chat. Um, and yeah, I think with six wines in, yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. happening. Okay. It is. <laughs> it's happening. Like it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a huge shout out to Bruce Jack Wines for, for being in touch and sending us these wines. Um, I think that's very Thank kind. You. Thank you. Why? Thank you. Yeah, always great to discover something new. So yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know if you will be trying anything. Yeah, if you yeah. agree with us. Um, and yeah, let's keep it rocking. Let's keep yeah. it pushing. Don't forget to like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to you, Glazers. And also, Cheers. get the bubbly. <laughs> and also, at the end of the day, guys, Cyril has opened the gates. So, do you know what? Say long. Oh, wow. wow.